Tyneside was once known as the engine room of the whole nation. It was a place where ships were built, coal was mined, and a place where some of the greatest inventions were created. It's a place that's played a vital role in our nation's industrial past and is set to play an important role in our nation's cultural future. Oh, and it's also a place very close to my heart. So in this film, we look at some of the crucial moments that have shaped the banks of the River Tyne, both in Newcastle and Gateshead. You see, for me, Tyneside is a place full of industry, invention, and great people through its history. People like George Stevenson, Lord Armstrong, Charles Parsons, and John Dobson. Oh, and people like Jackie Milburn, Alan Shearer. There's the great engineering history of those beautiful bridges that cross the River Tyne right from the first Roman crossing all the way to the monumental Tyne Bridge that is recognized all over the world. And Tyneside is a place that's built trains, tanks, turbines, and ships. Ships that have sailed across the globe. Ships like Mauritania, and the battleship King George V, which was involved in the sinking of the Bismarck. And later on, giant tankers, which were almost too big to launch across the river. And of course, there's the railways instrumental in putting Tyneside on the industrial map of Great Britain. And in our film, we discover how the centre of Newcastle was created by the genius of John Dobson and how developers in the early 60s nearly robbed us of our architectural heritage. And now as we move into the 21st century, the face of Tyneside has changed yet again with the arts and heritage and tourism leading the way. There's the Millennium Bridge, the Baltic, the Angel of the North, and the music centre in Gateshead. The history of Tyneside for me is a tale of struggle, strength and success. So join us and take a trip down memory lane and visit our beloved Tyneside through the ages. <laughs>